my channel so in today's video i am unboxing my very first mist and magic box this box was actually gifted to me by a friend she said she wanted to buy me it because she has the box and she said she knew i'd love the items in the box so i'm really really excited it's very kind of you thank you so much once again i know i keep thanking you um, but I am really, really excited to see it. I haven't had spoilers. I've definitely stayed away from spoilers since my friend said that she wanted to send me this. Um, but she said she wanted to send me it for the hard work that I'm doing. And yeah, I'm going to stop because I'm going to get very emotional because I do. I do. But thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you once again. And Mr. Magic, I'm really excited to get in this box because I do like what you doing your boxes so if you want to see just as much as i do what is inside this mr magic box and hear my thoughts on it then keep on watching and if this is the first time you've seen my face hello and welcome to my channel if you love anything to do with harry potter this is the place for you hit that subscribe button because i'd love to have you massive thank you to these guys these guys are my patreons they help me keep this channel running just that little bit more if you'd like to know anything about patreon it's linked in the description of this video along with my social medias go see what i'm up to on those so let's do this so it's got a pull oh wow we'll try from this side there we go we've got it we've got it i'm trying not to tilt it because it's got my address at the top Whee! we're in we're in so i'm gonna put it down open it up oh wow okay everything's like in parcel paper let me show you inside so everything's in like parcel paper so the suspense is still going we have got a lovely notice as well down here um dragon dragonling postal service okay that's quite cool so they've made their own postal service that's really cool i like that i do like that but let's get into it so i'm just going to put my hand in empty packaging <laughs> okay i do like this that they've done wow i'm seeing nice things already but yeah i do like that they've topped with this and it just keeps everything safe it's all recyclable as well which is awesome obviously there are things certain things in boxes that have to be bubble wrapped and things but it is just pure for safety um but yeah let's pull the first thing out so oh here's a bubble wrapped item again i see why it's bubble wrapped it needs to be protected i think this is a mug let's have a look so this box is um themed around find your magical job so it's about magical jobs okay oh the wow there's a lot of detail on this mug so we have this is really cool i like this it's like a dorm room. We've got a crystal ball here. We've got a little owl up there. Nice window there of the night. Is it the night sky? Yeah, there's the night sky out there. We've got some drawers. Oh, there's lots on here to look at. Oh, it's nice. And then it looks like we've got some purple flamage going on. Flamage, is that even a word? But something's brewing there. This is really detailed and nice. We've got a sword hanging there. That is really nice. I like my magical mugs. I do like my magical mugs oh that's really cute i like that i love the design on that we've got a quill down here looks like i've been doing some homework oh, yeah right but yeah i'll have to show you my magical mug collection one day because i do have a lot so i will have to show you what's this one so we have got a little parcel here and it says dragon dragon ling i think it's supposed to say postal service i do like that let's see what's in here what's in here is this a badge it's a little badge ah oh, dragonling postal service it's a staff badge okay that's really cool you don't see many button badges and i do like a good button badge i do love pin badges but i do love a button badge as well that's really cool i like anything like this because it makes it a bit personal with the word staff on it because it's like i work for them now so i could be a postwoman i'll put that back in there I put that back in there what else we got oh this has caught my eye so we've got a green velvet pouch and the pouch itself may i add that is really fancy and it's really magical i do like that but let's have a look inside the pouch what did we get <coughs> let's have a look open open there we go there we go put my hand in what we got in here uh what's that Oh, nothing. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. I've got it. So it's in green tissue paper. What do we have? 
Endless tissue paper. Come on. Come on. Oh my gosh, this is nice. It is a pin badge. Oh, it's got Mr. Magic on the back there as well. That's really cool. And we have a badge, pin badge with healer on it. That is so nice. Cura. And then on the other side, it says Personalis. Personalis. Oh, that is really nice. I love the design on it. It's such a fancy pin badge. And look at its shine as well. So I could be a postwoman, I could be a healer. I really like that pin badge. Okay, that is a really, really nice pin badge. I am gonna put it back in its little pouch. That is gorgeous as well. I really like that. We're gonna class that just as an item on its own because that is gorgeous. And I think I will definitely use it or display it somehow. Oh, this is exciting. So what have we got here? So we've got a little box here and it says fire magic on it. And it says each match will produce a flame in the colour of your choice. No spell needed. Fiery fancy joke shop. It's a really nice box. Oh look! Oh that's so cool! So you can light your matches. Let's see what's inside. There's definitely something inside. So inside we have got, let me just get a few out. We have got some coloured sticks that are obviously meant to be like matches. That is a really cute idea. I do like that. I love the box. I love the detailing on that. Like we've got the strip that you like your matches on. The box is really colourful. It definitely gives me that Wheezy Wizard Wheezes vibe. Warning, keep away from young witches and wizards. Of course, because we don't want children to play with fire. That's a cute idea. I do like it when subscription companies... Um, and little businesses come out with their own ideas from the wizarding world um i think because i like to use my imagination i like to see it when other people do as well and you know even when it's something we all know and love but they turn it into something that's never been done before i don't know if i'm making any sense but i hope i am right so we have got some i love this stuff this is really cool it's like honeycomb sort of paper obviously it'll be recyclable what have we got in here what's this the elder dragon dragon hang on let me show you it the elder dragon dragonologist care kit established in 1564 okay let's talk about the tin first look at that shine and look at the gold foiling on that dragonolist i can't say it you know what i mean you know what i mean let's open it up and see what's inside this is so cute. Okay, so this is inside. I'm loving how I've opened that and it just looks so magical. So we've got a little card here. I'll read that in a minute. But we have got here, we've got a bottle of beard oil. Oh, that's so cute. I like that. And then it's one of them squishy I'd, uh, the drop bottles, the drop bottles. That is really cool. I love the foiling on the label that is so nice and then we have got skin balm protects from burns and cuts so i am fully prepared if i want to be a dragonologist and it's a, just a little tin hang on has it got something in it what is that is it like it's got a balm in it it's like a glittery balm Ooh, hang on. Okay, that's cool. So I can have glittery skin. I like that. Okay, it says skin balm. So I'm assuming it's a skin balm that makes your skin glittery. It doesn't say lip balm. I'm going to look like an idiot if it's a lip balm, but I'm using it on my skin anyway. <laughs> but that is really, really cool. I really like that idea. And then in the bottom of the tin, everything's laying on this like red velvet. That is a really cool idea. Again, not something I've seen done. Then we've got the Dragonologist Care Kit, grooming products for bearded gentlemen in need of protection against hazardous sparks and flames. You never know when it's going to set ablaze. Be prepared. You're preparing us. You're preparing us, Mr. Magic. And then, okay, so we've got, like, this is so cool. It's like a little cheat sheet on its own. So this care kit was created in answer 
uh, in answer to the demand of well-groomed men who are working in various dangerous fields, especially near Dragonfire. Keep their luxuriant moustaches, beards and sideburns from fire hazards. How it works. Beard oil. This absolutely unique transparent fluid will nourish your beard as well as protect it against dragon fire. So you put it on before you go in with the dragons. Coat in the hair with an invisible film that acts as a fire repellent. Then the skin balm. Much like the beard oil, this balm is a concentrate of flame retardant that will act as an invisible shield against burns you can use it daily to hydrate and nourish your skin that's really cool and then it's even got instructions so apply the fire resistant beard oil your beard must be clean and dry for maximum efficiency that's really cool comb your beard it will help the oil penetrate and coat the hair evenly make sure you're using this stuff right guys and then apply the skin balm do not forget to protect your skin as well this balm works for your face and your hands you must remain cautious when dealing with dragon fire and then it's even got a bit on the back. I mean, I'm going to pause it if you want to read that. I'll give it a little read now, actually. I'll give it a quick flick through. Just tells you about a family business, specialising in grooming kits. That is really cool. It's even got an address at the bottom. I do like that. It's one item in the box and it has its just its own thing. And it's very well thought out just from one item. I really do like that idea. That's really good. We've still got some bits in here though, guys. I'll just take that out. Move that over there. I'm making a mess. We all know what I'm like. Okay, this is catching my eyes because it's colourful. So we've got exploding fireballs. Okay, this is cool. Extra bang, it says on the bottom. Then we've got a picture of the product here on the side. It says precautions. We recommend using gloves. These balls are very temperamental. They can explode at any time. Warning, keep away from young witches and wizards. So this box is it's not for young witches and wizards. We know this, but look how colourful it is. And then it says on there as well, exploding fireballs. That's so cool. Fiery fancy joke shop. Let's have a look at these fiery balls, shall we? Let's have a look. Oh, this is so cute. This is so cool. So we've got fiery um, exploding fireballs there on a label. It's got a nice cork, some green twine. And look at all the fireballs in there. I'm going to be very careful though. I don't want any of these going off in here, especially not next to my Weasley clock. Such a cute, cute item. And I am actually really going to display these on my Wheezy Wizard Wheezy's shop area shelf, whatever you want to call it. I'm definitely going to put them there. That is so cool. We've got more of this packaging. So everything's packaged really well too, which is awesome. This tube is catching my eye. So we're going to have a look in this tube now. We've got a nice big tube here. And whatever's inside is also protected in green tissue paper. Okay, well, it seems we've got two items in here. Let's have a look. I'll take it out of the green tissue. Oh, this is so nice. Look, guys. So we've got Celtic Shamrocks, Black Kelpies, Ireland, Scotland, 17th of September. Ireland versus Scotland feature featuring tournament. That's really cool. Look at that. Oh, I like that. I love the colours and the oh, the detail on it's amazing. Let me, there you go. You can pause it and have a good look if you want as well. That's really cool. What was the other thing that we got in? Let's have a look. I do really like that. And this nice purple tissue paper this time. Okay, there's two items in here. So we have, ah, uh, this is cool. So we have wand diagrams, do you call it? I do like things like this. So it's a wand broken down and it's told you how it's made. Um, this is really nice. So it's bespoke wand number two, 20th of June 1927, design number two, African black wood for its hardness and density. Um, obviously it shows you the pattern used, handles. Uh, this is really cool. I really, really, I love things like this. And then this is another one. So this is Bespoke Wand number one. Again, that's really, really nice. I love it. It's like a diagram of how this wand is made and it tells you about it more in depth. I do really like those. 
they're really nice prints and the poster no I do like them they're really really cool okay so we've still got quite a few <laughs> bits in here so oh mist and magic collectible cards let's have a look let's have I just looked directly into my studio light and now I can't see a thing hang on okay I'm fine I'm fine so I'm going to keep that little pouch actually so we've got the evening owl so we've got a bit of a news report from the evening owl that's really really cool magical news I haven't got my glasses on so I really can't read any of that I can only read the big words <laughs> But yeah, that's really, really cool. And it's really good quality card as well. Then we've got another one here. So profession ID, job description. So this is what it looks like. And then I'm going to read it out to you. That's really, really cool. A curse breaker is a profession in which an arcanist removes counters or breaks a curse placed on objects, places or persons for a living. He must be knowledgeable in all areas of dark magic, which encompasses jinx and curses, but also harmful or poisonous potions, ancient runes and occult practices such as necromancy, if that's how you say it. I'm terrible. They are hired by the police to help um, on various investigations or work as private consultants. It is a dangerous profession as a curse breaker interacts with the dark magic, darkest magic forms and most dangerous artifacts. That's really cool. And then this one, we've got Creatures Bazaar, Magical Creatures Shop. And that artwork is just gorgeous. That's really, really cute. I like them. So you get collectible cards too. They're really, really cool. And it gives you an, a high risk number in this top corner look. So high risk three. That's really cool. Oh, they're cool. I'm going to put them back in here though so that they stay protected for now but i'm gonna you can get them wallets and oh, i wish i could afford mr magic boxes and um, i will probably get them as and when because i'm really enjoying this box to be fair so far um but you can get them wallets where it's like you get is it nine sleeves that you can put cards in they'd be really cool to collect you could just, if you are collecting mr magic boxes and you're getting these collectible cards you can put them in those it would look really cool and you can see them and have them in a folder so here we have is this a cheat sheet i don't know i don't look at it yet hang on or is this a cheat sheet no this is like a catalog oh my days the arcanist magazine it's a magazine. Right, we're going to look at that in a minute. We're going to look at them in a minute. Let's open these first. I'm in a kerfuffle, guys. I'm in a kerfuffle. Don't stop watching me because I'm in a kerfuffle. So we've got... Okay, so this says feature featuring a tournament, 17th of September. The poster that we got. Is this a ticket to the tournament, maybe? Let's have a look. It is. Oh, my word. Oh my days, look at that, look at that gold foiling. That's so well made. Oh my days, I love that. Featuring 17th September, Celtic Shamrocks the Black versus the Black uh, Kelpies. Admit one tournament. Isn't that gate seven, section five, row 21, seat 58? That is so cool. And then even the back, that is really well designed and really well thought out. Oh, that is absolutely gorgeous. And then this also came with it. So <laughs> this is cool. We've got a betting slip as well. That's really, really cool. I love these little uh, little ideas that, you know, I think I, ju I just, because I'm creative and I do get creative. I mean, you know, because you've seen my DIYs and things. So when I see people getting creative, it's just nice. It's so nice. I absolutely love this. That is really nice. I'm going to put that back in the oven. In the, even the envelope's really nice as well. Just look at it. And it's a really good quality envelope as well. Really good quality. Okay, before we go through the magazine and a little pamphlet down there, I'm assuming that pamphlet is... I don't know if they do a cheat sheet. They might not even do a cheat sheet. But we have got like a tubey box here and it says Enchanted Distillery Nocturne Escape to the Enchanted World Magical Gin. Gin? Oh. let's have a look this is cute okay so again bubble wrap which is nice to see used for something like this because it does protect glass really really well oh wow so we have some magical gin 
magical gin so obviously the label on the thing is the same as that but obviously it's black on there and white on there look at that round the bottle it's simple but effective that is so cool and then inside look at this liquid let me give it a shake <gasps> no way it's a swirly it's a swirly one look oh look look look, look at that oh look at that so I'm focusing on my face, focus on the bottle. That is so nice. Oh, that's gorgeous. Is it actual gin? <laughs> no, <laughs> it won't be, obviously. It does look good enough to drink, though. That's such a lovely idea. Oh, I like it. Right, you move out of my way. Thank you. I need to move closer. So we have got a magazine here and it tells you it's got like a what's the word an index at the front on the front page here where it tells you ones and cause page eight sweets and tricks page 14 magical afternoon tea i like the sound of that let's have a look inside so there's the index again look at this this is really nice i'm not going to show you everything but i'm just going to you can pause it if you want to read anything yeah i'm don't i'll be here all day reading you this but i can sit and read this later with my cup of tea or coffee whatever i'm having but this is really cool i love how it's just what are your favorite hobbies tending to your garden practicing new spells so that oh this helps you discover your magical career oh this is really cool and their answers Oh, this is so cool. Oh, look at this. Definite Wheezy Wizard Wheezy's vibes. So a bit about Dragonologist on this page as well. Wand cause. Martial wands. What's this? Arcane Ministry of Magic recruits. Ever wanted to work at the ministry? I'd be an aura. If you're hiring, I'm there. I'd be good. Trust me. Trust me. And then we've got a bit about, obviously, the upcoming tournament, which is really cool. Oh, uh, look, feature, featuring a league, champ oh, league championship. So you've got the fixtures and everything as well. This is really cool. I love how items are connected together in this box. I do like a good theme. I do oh, my dad is so... Portrait of Lana, Magizoologist. Oh, look at these birds and look at the eggs oh what is it blazing fairy wren oh that is so lovely unlike most other species females tend to have brighter colors than males that's so cool that is just amazing sweets and tricks i like the design on this page so we've got chocolate salamander that's so cool ghost breath frosty bite sugar pumpkin and dragon eggs this is amazing. Oh, and the cheat sheets at the back. So there, is it? It is. So they've made a magazine out of the cheat sheet. That's really cool. And there's the back there. Look, we've got some advertisements in the back there. And then obviously this is the same as on the front inside. This magazine is beautiful. So yeah, so let's quickly go through the cheat. No, before I go through the cheat sheet, in a kerfuffle again, guys, look. I'm going to put that down. We did get this as well. So how to send your parcel, guide to parcel and letter services. So this is obviously the, for the Drag Dragonling Postal Service, which is really cool. So obviously Royal Mail, for instance, I've got one of their leaflets and it tells me um, about parcel weights and things like that. So it's like the same sort of, oh my days, they're thinking of everything. The little details are absolutely amazing got some advertisements in there one choose a sturdy box two close it securely three take it to your local post service please note that you can enchant your package with an anti-flame spell for extra protection dragonlings can be slightly mischievous sometimes especially the younger ones however it is not mandatory accidents are very rare indeed oh that's nice to know and then it tells you the dragons that send the parcels. This is who they have working for them. I am blown away by the little details in this box. It's been such a joy. And it's, I don't know if you've noticed, but I've had a smile on my face all the way through. I've really enjoyed it. So let's go through the Mr. Magic cheat sheet. So it's magical jobs, 
box contents. So we've got two wand prints, amazing, from Wardlaw Wands, the famous wand maker. These prints are authentic reproductions of the first bespoke wands he ever created when he opened his shop in 1927 really cool to the healer's enamel pin that pin is beautiful especially the pouch it came in it's just gorgeous it's official you are now a member of the royal healers guild what i feel honored i feel honored healing magic i've lost where i was then healing magic has no secrets for you and you can now help people and put your knowledge to good use that is amazing Okay, number three, tournament ticket and betting slip. Don't miss the game between the Black Kelpies and the Celtic Shamrocks. It is going to be explosive. Which team do you think will win the game? Place your bets. Really like that. It's gorgeous. Number four, the, fe the Featherling poster. We've included this... I've been saying featuring. It's Featherling. Oh, dear. Oh, my days. I wonder how many of you have put in the comments already. Susie, you're reading it wrong. Um, we've included this Featherling poster for all the sports fans out there. Number five, the Dragonologist Care Kit, grooming kit for stylish arcanists in need of a protection against hazardous sparks and flames. This item is for display purposes only. The skin balm contains soy wax and is not intended for skincare use. I've put some on my skin now. But it looks so pretty. I won't, don't use it on your skin. Don't do what I did, all right? Don't do it. Don't do what Susie does. Three collectible cards. These exclusive cards are perfect to add to your collection. I do want more. They are really, really cool. I love collecting things. Nocturne, a magical gin. The Enchanted Distillery is the most famous distillery of magical gin and is favoured for the sweet taste and slight vision inducing properties of their spirit. Right, just looking at it. Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Where's it gone? It's gone. It's there. It's right in front of me. This gin looked good enough to drink to me and now you've made it sound like it's good enough to drink but you can't drink it, it's just display, just display. Then we've got the Dragonling Postal Service brochure. With this handy guide you can send your parcels with peace of mind via Dragonling Postal Services. Again, I absolutely love that little idea. It's just the little things sometimes are what really wows us. Then we've got Exploding Fireballs from the popular joke shop Fiery Fancy and one of their best seller items, this Exploding Fireball will create a fireworks display like you've never seen before. Love it. The Magic Fire Matchbox, another one of their most popular items, this matchbox can strike a flame in every colour. Love that idea. Um, Mini Mug Arcanist Office. This mini mug featuring an Arcanist office is just perfect for your regular coffee, fire, whiskey or butter beer for those who need an extra kick. It is 100% microwave and washing machine safe. Good to know. Then the Dragonling Postal Staff, staff Service Staff Badge. As a proud member of Dragonling, Dragonling Postal Postal Service staff, you are an important part of the Arcane Society. Starting on Monday, you'll be in charge of training their new Dragonling recruits. Get ready and don't forget your protective it is Monday. I know it's Thursday to you guys, but I'm filming this on Monday. I've missed my first day at work. And then the Arcanist magazine. We have partnered with the Arcanist magazine to bring you this special issue on magical jobs and careers to help you find your passion and the career of your dreams. Please note all items of the box are for display purposes only and not suitable with children under 13. Okay, yes, yeah, so don't drink the gin and don't use the skincare that isn't skincare. It's just display purposes, guys. I'm glad I didn't take a sip of the gin, I know that. And I've not come out in a rash, but I'm very sparkly. I like it. Well, um, once again to my dear friend, thank you so much. I did thoroughly enjoy this box. You were right when you said I think you're gonna love it. Um I don't know what to pick as a favourite item. This is insane. Like, there was so much to this box. There was so much, even down to the little detail. And like I said, just this one item, just one item out of the box, out of how many items? Because they're all numbered. Let's have a look. 13 items, right? One out of 13 items. And the detail on this was absolutely insane, even down to the little care package kit, um, care package note inside. It was just a leaflet on its own. Everything is very well thought out. Everything just looks, it just looks perfect. And I really, really, Mr. Magic, you are amazing. But what did you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Have you seen this box before? Been done i need to go look at other unboxings of this box now it's so tempting it's such a shame i can't afford it but i might 
I don't know. Oh, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to have a look into this because I really, really, really enjoyed this box. It was so good. I'm trying to think of a favourite item, and I really can't pick. Um, ah, I don't know. I think I might have to. I might have to pick the gin, maybe. Are we picking the gin because of the swirly prettiness? That is so cool. I don't, I really don't know. I really like this gin. What am I doing? I'm doing that. That goes in there, Susie. I don't know. I think I'm going to have to take a moment. Okay. I loved everything. Um, I don't, I can't give you a least favourite. I actually can't. I can't give you a least favourite. But my favourite, I don't know. Right. I'm picking these as my favourites. All right. Because. I can't wait to get them on here. Really can't wait to get them on there. Everything here, I will display. I've just spat everywhere. Literally, even down to the magazine, I will display everything. This is absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait to get these frames because they're so nice. I really like them. And this is gorgeous. This is so nice. Oh, I loved this box, Mr. Magic. And my dear friend, you're so naughty, but I love you. But yeah, I could sit and talk about this for ages, guys, and you're going to get bored of me. If you're not, if you are still here, thank you for staying. I hope I haven't bored you too much. But if you enjoyed this video, guys, please give it a massive thumbs up for me because it helps me more than you know. Thank you so much, my dear friend. Thank you, Mr. Magic, for creating such a magical box. And thank you, everyone, for watching. And I will speak to you all in my next video. Bye, Pods Puppets. <sighs>